ice cream is the most popular dairy product all across the globe. And when Amul, the taste of India makes it, it can be eaten anytime, anywhere. It turns hot sultry summer into a cool summer. Amul ice creams need no specific reason, season and occasion to savour them. Amul makes 250 types of 100% real ice cream using real milk cream and dairy ingredients and it is the real ice cream. Amul ice cream contains minimum 10% milk fat. Let's see how Amul makes healthy and nutritive ice creams in its state-of-the-art food factories. Amul serves delicious ice creams which are made in the state-of-the-art 17 ice cream plants situated across India. Do you know 125 ml serving of regular vanilla ice cream can be a good source on nutrients such as calcium and vitamin A? Oh, I was not knowing this. Did you know that it takes about 50 licks to finish a single ice cream cone? After seeing so many yummy ice creams, I just feel like having some ice cream. Apart from regular flavours, Amul makes roasted almond, shahi anjeer, Punjabi kulfi and many more. Epic is Amul's premier ice cream and is loved by all. Like its name, it is an epic taste saga to relish. So tempting! Let's take a tour to see how Amul makes so nutritive and tasty ice creams for India. The journey of ice cream begins from the milk farms, literally at the grassroot level. Absolutely! This is one of the many special dairy farms promoted by Amul. Amul ensures the hygienic handling of milk right from the milking. It has installed special milking stations at these dairy farms. Milking machines are used to reduce human contact. Next, this milk is pumped from milking machines to specially designed temperature controlled storage tanks. Amul facilitates the quality check equipments at these special dairy farms. A designated officer checks the quality and quantity. Next, the officer takes milk samples from the tank following a standard sampling procedure. After sample process, he pumps the milk from the tank to transportation tanker. This is very special. I can say Amul is a cow to cone organization which has its own milk procurement system unlike many other companies. Amul collects around 20 million litres milk from dairy farmers every day through specially designed temperature control tankers. Every day 17 Amul ice cream plants situated across India welcome these milk tankers and where it is processed into ice cream in various flavours to serve hundreds of millions of Indians. That's incredible! Next, as soon as tankers reach plant, sample from each tanker is taken by train staff and it is sent for quick analysis at most sophisticated Amul lab situated inside the plant. There, lab scientists analyze these and after ascertaining quality parameters, they give green signal to unload the milk. Milk station in charge breaks the seals and milk tankers are then connected to milk station in no time. After all, time is most critical in milk industry. Next, milk is then pumped to huge raw milk storage silos for further processing. Amul has many highly sophisticated processing plants which have capacity of millions of litres of milk to process every day. After filtration to remove physical, chemical and bacterial impurities, this milk now travels to automatic separators. In these separators, milk churns at very high speed, really at very high speed. Due to the centrifugal force, heavy particles of milk like SNF and fat in form of cream is separated from the milk. I can say washing machines at home works on similar principle. I'm impressed by your knowledge. It shows you studied physics very well. Let's come back to the process. This separated cream is then stored at a temperature less than 10 degrees centigrade in the buffer cream storage tanks. From here, cream goes for further processing in ice cream section. From buffer tanks, cream is brought here and is balanced, preheated and then kept into mixing tank, waiting for other ingredients to come. Dry ingredients like sugar and stabilizers are filtered through fine mesh. These along with dairy ingredients are basic ingredients to prepare ice cream mix. Sugar not only sweetens ice cream but it also lowers its melting point. Fats are responsible for creamy texture. Mix is heated to 60 to 70 degrees Celsius so the dry ingredients blend easily. Two types of basic mixes, white and chocolate are prepared in two separate vats. In chocolate mix, high quality cocoa powder is added in the milk cream mix. Next, the mix goes through fine meshes for filtration. Mix is pasteurized in order to avoid any kind of physical or bacterial impurities which might come along with the ingredients. 
Now, ice cream mix is homogenized at a very high pressure to decrease the milk fat globule size to form a better emulsion. It makes uniform, smoother, richer and creamier palatable ice cream. Samples are taken from this mix for lab analysis before keeping it for aging for minimum 4 to 6 hours at around 5 degrees centigrade. Aging is always graceful. Aging of mixed crystallized and hydrate protein stabilizers is necessary for consistent mix. Meanwhile, mix is being aged. High quality nuts and dry fruits like cashew, almonds are prepared for garnishing the ice cream. Dry fruits are crushed into small pieces by a machine. An alert metal detector keeps a close watch for any foreign material in nuts and fruits. Next, these crushed dry fruits and nuts are spread uniformly in trays. Trays are gently placed in dry air oven to roast them. These roasted nuts make a happy combination with ice cream. Now let's visit the real happening area. From a controlled room, processing line where yummy ice creams are made is controlled through a computer system. Wow, I'm amazed to see this neat and clean production line. Twice a day, the whole plant is cleaned and is known as CIP. Next, according to the formulation and recipe colors, flavors and fruit pulps are added to the flavor mixing tanks called as FMT. From FMT, the mix travels to continuous freezing system. Here, water in the mix gets frozen and air is mixed into the emulsion with agitation. Amount of air added to the ice cream is called overrun. Overrun helps to make ice cream soft after freezing. The mix is transformed into a flowable mixture at minus 4 to minus 6 degrees centigrade. This special combination ice cream is made with crunch, yummy choco biscuits which are fed in the feeder. To make bottom layers of the sandwich ice cream, the biscuits are spread on the moving conveyor belt with precision and in harmony by the feeder. Now the ice cream mix is set for its final transformational journey. The white mix which is in vanilla flavor is pumped directly from continuous freezing system into ice cream feeder over the moving conveyor. Feeder presses flowable ice cream and an auto arm with a wire knife cuts the ice cream in measured quantity. To give a finishing touch to the sandwich ice cream, another layer of biscuits is neatly arranged automatically on moving ice cream bar. Everything works in such harmony and discipline. I am amazed. Now, army of the sandwich ice cream goes inside hardening tunnel. Here, blowing air with temperature around minus 35 degrees Celsius. Hardening process enables the ice cream to withstand storage and transportation and aids in final textural development. Once these roll out on the conveyor from the hardening tunnel, a robot the robotic arm picks them up gently and moves them forward. Movement pattern of these robotic arms remind me of my childhood visit to the local fair where I used to sit on carousel with an ice cream stick. Those were the golden days. You know sandwiches are normally grilled but Amul sandwich ice creams are chilled. Next, these robotic arms gently place these on compartment food grade conveyor where a gentle moving arm pushes these to packing station. The packing wrappers are fed into the packing machine. The movement of the ice cream and wrappers is programmed so well that the ice cream is packed from all sides and cut into individual packs within no time. This packing machine can wrap, seal and cut 2,52,000 sandwich ice creams per day. Oh, that's a lot of ice cream. Hold your breath. Every day, Amul makes 10 million ice cream packs of different variety and different packing. Next, after placing into corrugated paper box, ice cream boxes are given unique ID and batch with a sticker. These sandwich ice cream boxes are now lifted by a system and travel in a plastic crate to cold storage gliding smoothly on a conveyor highway. What a journey! I'm impressed by this ice cream handling system. En route, these crates have to pass through a counting system which keeps a track who is who and where are they going. A metal detector always keeps an eye for purity check. Now these boxes are stored at minus 25 degrees centigrade. It's amazing to see how tricone ice cream is prepared using three different flavors in one single cone. These cones are made using wheat flour and sugar. First, the chocolate syrup is sprayed by a nozzle in the base of the cone. On cooling, it becomes creamy and crunchy, which while eating would be a grand finale of the tricone. Now, frozen pista ice cream mix is filled in these chocolate sprayed cones. The filling nozzles make beautiful floral pattern with grooves. Now is the turn to add some chocolate syrup. 
from a syrup tank fitted over the conveyor, nozzles spray creamy chocolate syrups inside the cone. From a dry fruit hopper, a fine chunks of high quality baked fruits and nuts toppings completes the ice cream cone process. These mouth-watering three-layered ice cream cones are sealed with round paper lids perfectly. This packs the cone. Now these cones pop up from the belt in joyful mood. Army of a robotic arms picks up these cones and place these on a moving conveyor to a hardening tunnel at minus 35 degrees centigrade. From one side, conveyor takes these cones inside the continuous conveyor hardening tunnel and from the other side, frozen cones come out after spending about 30 minutes in the tunnel. Do you know the largest ice cream cone in the world was 10 feet tall? It's amazing to see these dancing and thrilled ice cream cones. They look thrilled and dance like a child who goes on an amusement park trip. Gently they are sent to cold room. Let's see how the super premium grade epic ice cream is made at Amul Plants. This enticing flavoured ice cream is made using the rich and creamy famous Belgium chocolates. The chocolate mix which is stored in the mixed storage vat is pumped to continuous freezing and air mixing system and from here it is fed to the production line. Do you know why wood sticks are used in the ice cream? Uh, maybe it's cost effective? Apart from cost effective, wood sticks are bad conductor of heat. Also, it provides a little friction so the ice cream doesn't slip out when we enjoy it. Also, it is biodegradable. Wow, I am learning a lot. Before we could blink the eye, stick was already placed in the ice cream bar automatically. That's right. Next, these ice cream stick bars pass through hardening tunnels at minus 35 degrees Celsius to get a firmer shape. Mouth-watering epic ice cream comes in three exotic flavors, choco almond, strawberry twist and choco cappuccino. All of these raise the bar of indulgence. These epic flavors are considered as the super premium ice cream of Amul. Now this stick battalion marches ahead to have a dip in the creamy Belgium chocolate syrup. Roasted almond crush is added in this Belgium chocolate syrup, which adds to the exotic taste, texture and nutrients. Wow, really? This Belgium chocolate dip must be giving a heavenly feeling to ice cream bar. Let me test your ice cream knowledge. Do you know what is the world's most popular ice cream topping? Oh, anybody can guess this. Of course, it is chocolate. Amul Epic is the creamiest ice cream giving the Indian palate the richness and taste never experienced before. All the three flavors of Epic are available in 80 ml sticks. The color, texture and shape are looking epical. This is called complete transformation from real cream to Epic. An alert production assistant keeps a continuous watch on moving bars. It looks like nothing can escape from him. Now these bars move forward in a proper order and distance towards a packing station riding on a compartment conveyor. The attractive packing materials come in large rolls. They are fed in the automatic packing machines. Whole packing process gets completed in no time. Now let's see Amul Asli Arm process. Asli Arm is made with real Alfonso mango pulp. Flavour and colours are blended in the FMT. This mix is frozen and cut in shape. Then it travels to hardening tunnel and move inside it for about 30 minutes. Mango is India's king of fruits. Asli Arm is getting ready to provoke the taste buds of all the generations in India. A conveyor system with a robotic arm holds these bars and moves them forward. Savouring the delicious Asli Arm rekindles my childhood memories. It's so nostalgic. Next, the bars are packed in food grade packing material by an automatic machine and sent to cold storage. Ice cream in convenient cup packing is also very popular in India. Food grade plastic cups automatically get arranged on a moving conveyor. The nozzles which move up and down in a rhythm and are in sync with cups movement fill the ice cream. Production supervising team continuously keeps a tab on the production line and process. After all, ensuring best quality is important. Strawberry ice cream is a popular flavor which is used in making shakes, smoothies and other innovative recipes. The floral pattern in these cups looks really artistic. Paper lids are placed over the filled ice cream cups. Amul ice cream can be savored throughout the year. 
Do you know there is actually an ice cream diet designed for weight loss? So, I can say ice cream is not fattening. Don't get surprised if I say that an average cow can produce milk in her lifetime which can make 33,300 litres of ice cream. That's amazing. Now these fill cups are popped by a lever and an arm gently pushes these to a conveyor towards carton packing station. Amul also makes sticks like kulfi, frostic, chocobar using the fresh and seasonal fruit juices or pulps, sugar, natural colors and flavors. The mixture is filled by nozzles in molds which are fitted in circular stainless steel stick making machines. This circular machine has external cooling system which cools brine to minus 35 to minus 40 degrees Celsius which surrounds the molds fitted on the circular bed. The mixture starts getting frozen. One stick feeder continuously supplies wooden sticks to automatic stick holders. Holders pick up the wooden sticks and insert them in the semi-frozen mixture in the molds. This machine literally gives a feel of artistic canvas. In an ancillary tank, chocolate slurry is prepared for dipping using the high-quality chocolate powder. A puller holds the frozen sticks and pulls them out from the molds and takes it away. These sticks are dipped in a tub of chocolate slurry. Instantly, due to frozen nature of sticks, slurry too gets frozen. Now holder drops these sticks on a feeder to conveyor which takes them to packing station. A packing machine quickly wraps around a coloured printed packing material and seals these. In a similar fashion, other fruit candies are made of mango and orange made from real fruit juices. Alexander the Great would have loved to eat these candies. He was believed the ardent lover of flavoured snow. The shiny attractive packing makes these ready to tantalise the taste buds of real frozen fruit lovers. Amul also makes a special frostic which has a wonderful combination of three layers of cream and chocolate flavours. Once the moulds are filled with chocolate mix by a nozzle, another nozzle fills a dark chocolate syrup in the centre of the filled moulds. Now, once these get frozen, a puller takes these out from the circular bed. A tub filled with chocolate slurry mixed with tasty nuts awaits these sticks to give a wonderful coating. This way, three layers of different flavours and taste are created for the lovers of ice cream. Amul tubs have changed the modern kitchen culture in India and became a must-have inventory in the freezer of every home. This machine makes almost 50,000 tubs a day and there are many such machines working round the clock in Amul's 17 factories. Strawberry syrup is made in a special large size vat. From there, syrup is brought to two small filling tanks from where it is pumped to filling nozzles. The vanilla mix comes from the continuous freezer through the tubes which are attached to a set of four nozzles. The white colour of vanilla mix and the rich bright colour of the strawberry syrup gives a dramatic look when they fill the tube making a beautiful floral pattern. Art meets technology. This is a perfect example of this fusion. Wow! This looks so beautiful. Absolutely. This is truly a strawberry magic sundae. Tub packing is one of the most convenient and useful packing. And we love this kind of tubs for storage post-consumption of ice cream, which helps in reuse and reduce plastic wastage. After all, we are the custodians of Mother Earth. Once the lids are sealed, the tubs automatically spring up from the production line by a hook and they are placed on the conveyors. Next, these tubs go through the hardening tunnel before they are packed in cartons and finally move to a cold room waiting for the delivery van. Amul never forgets party and family lovers. Therefore, it also makes take-home packs. These take-home packs are filled and packed automatically in the most hygienic conditions. Once all kinds of ice creams, almost 250 types in different packs and sizes are prepared at different production lines. Every pack has to pass the test of purity by a metal detector. It's a compulsory ritual. Now all march on food grade conveyors towards continuous hardening tunnel. Inside the tunnel, these packs are welcomed at minus 45 degrees Celsius and literally gets frozen meeting the chilled weather of the tunnel. While all enjoy chilling with each other in the tunnel, plant officers keep them under 
check from a control room. Once ice cream packs are fully hardened, these ready to deliver boxes are then stored in cold room at minus 25 degrees Celsius in plastic crates. Crates help movement of cold air around each and every box and keep them at uniform temperature. All 17 Amul ice cream plants have multiple cold rooms to match production capacity. Also, every Amul ice cream plant has a special lab where raw material, premix, and finished products are checked for defined standard and quality parameters. Various physical, chemical and microbial tests are conducted. Only those who pass the tests are promoted. Failed ice cream products have no value, but in real life, failed humans do a lot of wonders. Every day, 10 million packets of Amul ice creams are dispatched to various cities and villages across India through specially designed temperature-controlled refrigerated vans. Every dispatch is recorded and computerized. The whole cold chain from production, storage and transportation is strictly maintained. Boxes are also manually counted. Next, van is locked and sealed at factory by an independent agency person. Now, Amul ice cream starts its journey to more than 1500 cities cities and towns in India so customers can savor the wonderful and mesmerizing taste of Amul ice cream 24 by 7 round the year.